If you are active within Age of Empires 2, you probably know that the last two months, the game has experienced more bugs than pretty much ever. I mean, the first month or two of release was really bad. Don't get me wrong. It's been an interesting month or two, okay? And I'm not going to sit here and I'm going to talk about all the bugs, like the go back to work hockey and all the issues that have affected tournaments. No, I'm not. But in this one, we're going to make it fun because uh, there is a bug that they will eventually patch out, I assume, uh, which is a little bit more unique. It's not quite as, like, game deciding or as frustrating, like hotkey changes or whatever else. And uh, we have a little bit of fun with it. So uh, I, what I didn't want to do is I didn't want to just load into a scenario and just say, hey, guys, this cool thing is happening and not show you how it's yes. applicable in a game. So here I am with this rather unique and fun bug to show you our attempt at using it in a game. All right. Um, there's a lot of things to talk about in this one as well. But I do want to say real quick before we get into this. Thank you, everyone who's watching. I don't actually have tons of data on like the last couple years of YouTube because I haven't really tracked it all perfectly. But I believe per my memory, which is failing me more and more that this has been the most successful month ever on YouTube. So thank you guys for playing your part. Thank you for helping the channel grow and having interest in the game. All right. So what I'm going to say right now is that the bug involves the trade building, which means we need to get this to late game. I'll explain more about what the trade building is in a minute. In the yellow, we have T90 official player who uh, is currently casting this game for you and people make fun of his farms, playing as the Hindustanis. In the red, teamed alongside him, we have best player from Columbia, top 100 player, and one of the most improved players of 2023, in my opinion. Also, T90 official's teammate in an upcoming tournament, Ozone, playing as the Mongols. In the blue, we have the French kiddo who at the start of the game recognized it was us, said, no way, French kiddo will slap you appreciated the confidence of this guy i love it um and then in the green we have a player who is the best player in iceland which i just found out like 20 minutes ago i was watching uh someone play age of empires 2 for my time off of creating age of empires 2 videos and streams and uh they saw me and they said hey i saw that game you played the other day which was this you played against the best player in iceland and I looked him up, and he is the best player in Iceland. He's like 1,600 ELO. Apparently played for Iceland in Nations Cup. And he's a pretty big deal over there in Iceland. So shout out to you, Clemens. I, I didn't know that you were the best player in Iceland, and that's pretty something to be proud of. So anyways, um, that's our little introduction. The map is Hideout. You start with Palisade Walls. And it's just a, a great map here because you've got a layer of protection, but it's not like Arena where it's so much protection that the game just goes castle age and there's also a choke point on either side which is really important to lock down with map control so typically like i know we're going to do it in this game uh or we're going to see it in this game but regardless of if you're looking to take a late game or not to test out a bug which will eventually be fixed by the devs we hope anyways uh or we don't hope because it'll be pretty cool tower rushing on this map is fairly common because if i were to tower rush green and make some progress, deny some resources, kill some villagers, freak him out a little bit. Well, worst case, if I don't do a ton of damage, I could just wall this then. I have the map control and boom, full stone wall, and then I can do whatever I want back here. That's kind of the idea. So, um, anyways, I, I've scouted over here. And I can see that the wood lines form a nice little natural wall for me. So, I am always for looking at different ways to be greedy. And I was thinking, well, you know what would be pretty cool is if I don't spend stone on the walls because I want to save stone for other things. So I'm just going to place a house here. Seemed like a good idea. So I ventured out here. I was attacking Green Scout. And Green must have noticed this hole in my wall and is now just like, hmm, there's a hole in T90's wall. I'm not French kiddo who said I will slap T90, but I'll certainly check it out. And I noticed this. <laughs> and I'm like, what? The best player from Iceland wandered into my base? Oh, I must follow him. Again, didn't know who he was. But um, anyways, so I, uh, I obviously know he's in here. And I was going to, you know, prep a little trap for his scout. I didn't know what was happening because that's pretty, pretty rookie move. Maybe it's Iceland meta. <laughs> I wish a guy wouldn't have told me that. This poor guy's going to get so many Iceland jokes. But anyways, um... So I already had more HP on my scout. So really the only way he kills us is if he's up to feud late really fast. Now, unbeknownst to me, he's actually going to feud late really fast. You can see at the top right. 
Um, I'm just kind of waiting, hoping to kill this thing, and I eventually will. Now, if you saw other conversation here, I kind of told those on what my plan was. We had played an Arabia game before this with players who were way higher ranked than what we're seeing here. Um, and it was just full archers, full scouts, and it was just so tricky for us to take a late game. Because we finally got to a point where we were starting to ma mass up our trade and do the other things that this building does, which it's not intended to do. And, uh, well, unfortunately, they, they just resigned. <laughs> so I meant to say scare into boom new meta because Ozone is basically tower rushing this guy uh, because Portuguese typically castle drop. And I figured this would be a good job at getting a little bit of a lead so you don't have a castle on your face and this game doesn't end too early. Now, Green wanted to tower rush me, all right? So both teams kind of had the same idea, so that's why he's in feudal. And my freaking house is getting battered down, and I'm not happy about it in this moment because it was such a nice spot. I should have actually placed the house here because then I think only two villagers could hit it at once, so that was a bit of a rookie move. But yeah, Green just wanders on through. It does feel like a trap. Right? It does, when you look at it this way, like, hmm, let's just wander through the one tile of darkness beyond the enemy walls. But he didn't know there were more walls there, and they're looking to apply some pressure. So, I'm going to be going fast castle. Because, um, again, the goal is to take it late. So, I'm just going to soak up this pressure, try and do some damage control. Ozone is currently lined up three towers, and behind it is stone walling. So, again, just sticking to the plan. I think he just researched Loom, actually. Ozone. He's a mad lad. Now, fun little fact here. If you are the first person to sell stone, you get 91 gold in return for that stone. Earlier in the game, you could see this gold tile here. It's at 790. Collected 10 gold there. And now I only have one gold in the bank, but I needed 200 gold to go castle, so we're all good. Will potentially be an issue if I need Loom, as Green is looking to make progress into my base. But, uh, you know, that's not foreshadowing whatsoever. I decided to wall this so green doesn't send anything more. And I'm just placing my houses here as I'm on my way to castle. So, again, I didn't know anything about these players. So, I was basically thinking, well, you know, I can. I had a lot of confidence, let's just say. Right? So, I was like, I could kind of do whatever. This guy's not going to have Icelandic micro and talent. Um... Because you, you know, man, like, Norway, Finland, they produce some incredible talents. You got to be scared of Iceland as well, right? <laughs> um, I, I, I'm not actually, I just want to be clear. I'm not trying to make fun of the guy. I'm literally just trying to find reasons to make stupid jokes, okay? So over on this side, so, so he's making progress, right? And I don't want to make a tower to and spend my stone to do anything with this just yet. Making progress into my base. Um, Ozone has already walled, which was the plan, right? And Blue has made army. Now, Blue's original plan was to uh, go for a castle. I didn't focus on it fully, right? We were talking about other things, but he was on that stone. So he was definitely planning to go for the castle. Uh, and he now has made some archers. So he has adapted to the situation here. And he's taken out one tower. Now, he did also take some losses there. But we'll see how it goes. Ozone's going to be incredibly stubborn. I actually do not know fully what happens on this side because I was watching my side. But Green is still progressing with towers. So I'm in Castle Lights and I just drop a second town center here. Feeling like I've got plans to take gold because he's taking away my gold. And again, being full greed here, I didn't want to... I didn't want to make Siege to push him back right now. Not that I could because I don't have gold. And I didn't want to be in harm's way. So what I decided to do is I decided to build my third town center right between these two towers. I just realized I didn't have loom, so I'm researching that so my villagers are armored. Now, Blue, he doesn't, like, he's just trying to defend from Ozone. And this is a really good tower spot. And Ozone says, okay, I'm all set here. Like, he's good to go, right? Three towers walled in, denying berries, denying stone. Perfect start for him. And hasn't, like, full-on killed the enemy. And Blue's like, okay, counter-attack time. Because that's what we have to do in these situations. Nope! Stonewalled. 
So our situations are very different because, uh, you know, I'm currently in Castle Age adding villagers. And I'm sure when I said that my situation was fine, Ozone looked over here and that's why he's laughing. But I had faith. Um, you know, I garrison the town center now and the town center will actually be in range of both of these towers. So it'll take a minute, but eventually those towers are going to go down. Now, what I have done yes. here in the process, as we see Blue now rushing down these gates, they're going down pretty quickly. What I have done in the process of being a greedy little boy, uh, which sounded super weird, I uh, have given Green map control over me, and he's got untouched economy at home and is going to be looking to be aggressive. <laughs> Ozone says Blue is panicking. And honestly, Blue, I don't blame you for trying to do this, by the way. Um, maybe you can end up getting through. I think I would even consider a tower instead if you're going to try it, but I know you're having stone problems. But... Anyways, Green's trying to escape my base. And these guys chatted real early. So I was like, this is the perfect type of player. This is the player that wants to be part of some content, right? They want to have some fun. The previous opponents, they just went super all in to try and kill me. And Ozone overboomed because we wanted to go late game. And we didn't want to win too early. And then I almost got defeated. But then Ozone killed them all. Like, the, the, we don't want that. No one on YouTube wants to watch me die for 20 minutes and Ozone carry. So anyways... Uh, I told Green to stay. Like, don't try and escape. I also said, remember to take your shoes off. But I didn't say that to Green. You think I would learn after all these Diplo games. So now my joke doesn't even land. I thought that would have been pretty funny. Like, don't... Please take off your shoes if you enter my town. Anywho. Uh, I'm looking to take out these freaking towers. I've got 44 villagers, which isn't really that good. Considering I've been on Castle Age for a while. Now, one of the bugs we talked about earlier is that... Uh, Manganelle's instantly repair. So, um, whoop, just instantly repaired. And it, it's just a really bad bug, right? But I promised myself I wouldn't use this cast as another instance to, to complain about how the state of the game right now. They did make a statement about being aware um, of, of the issues, and they're going to dedicate, you know, the next month or so to push out a really big patch to fix all the issues. It is what it is. There's issues. Should it have happened? I don't think so. But it has happened. And it's at least brought us this video, okay? And I have faith in them. They're going to fix the issues because they know about them. And I've had some conversations off video or stream. So, bug abuse number one, me repairing the mango. Can't really avoid it. Sorry about it. Um, green is in my base, guys. It's funny. I promised myself I wouldn't talk about this issue. Still have to talk about it for a long time. But yeah, green is in my base. My main goal is here, and he's now got knights. And that's not cool, because he saw the siege. I walled in the first Manganel. But now I knew I needed to prep some monks. And well, I'm in a position to convert both of his knights. He, fortunately for him, is in a position to make monks of his own to convert those knights back and play that little game. Anyways, he deletes that one there. And he does micro here. So, on this side, uh, Blue is pretty much having a nightmare. Um, Blue has not been able to slap Ozone, like Blue said he was going to slap me. Ozone does lose a villager, though, so I'm pretty sure I can no longer play games with him. That's unexcusable. And this knight moves over here. Blue's using the market. And that used to be Green's knight, so I'm kind of okay with losing it, you know? Send a message. Don't send any more knights to my base. Or you will have to turn on your friends. Holy crap, French kiddo. You love that market. And he wants a castle, guys. Oh my god, is he building... Okay, his whole economy is building this castle. He is slapping down that castle. So we've got a good eco lead as, as a team. Green is still pressuring on one TC. And I'm now researching Redemption because his micro is really good. Like, I've tried a couple times here to hit his mangoes. And he always sees it and he always... Gets the proper dodge in. And he's also got light cap now. Which is a great play against the monks. Unfortunately though, Green, you gotta go in with more than just one. You go in with three there, I'm at least forced into my TC and I'm under pressure. But I'm sweating a little bit in this moment. And I realize this could be an issue. And so I'm gonna drop a castle that I really didn't want to place. I want to place it here. And that monk still was on a conversion somehow. Even though the light cap traveled 16 years or 16 years away. Yeah, 16 years away. We'll stick with that. And now I am under pressure. 
So I recall saying, is he Tootin's when I was trying to convert the siege? Because it took forever. And honestly, I could have lost the game right here. That monk will not convert. What? 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 <laughs> that might be the longest conversion ever. <laughs> Anyways, I finally get the conversion. And I'm going to get the castle up to be able to breathe a little bit again. And try and dislodge green from my base. Uh, we delete the walls back here. We're looking to add some beautiful farms. And, um... Anyways, blue, he's going to be try and make some progress on this side against guard towers. Um, now, Ozone says, because again, our, and I'd like to be clear on this, I, we're not trying to troll weaker players, okay? Um, that's not our intention. If it's our intention to troll, we, we would have been doing some trolling already. The ranked Q put us up against these players, right? So we didn't choose them. But we kind of maybe want to like not not play with our food but we just want to make sure we can get to this bug right it's in imp and right now we, the momentum's pretty good for us right i've got 70 villagers green's got 50. if this is a tourney i just delete my walls and right run over to green's base where he's adding lots of economy right now but we don't want to do that no. so anyways um blue's got uh 52 villagers on this side pretty good a big mass of organs but there's still guard towers in the front of his base. And Ozone has gone for fortified wall even to protect this. I love the towers here as well. So naturally what they're going to do now, all of Blue's pressure is going to come to my side. Green also, uh, again to... Oh, I killed my own unit. Green also... <laughs> nobody timestamped that. Uh, Green has had some really impressive micro. And I said no a moment ago because I think he was trying to escape. But I'm like, fine. I just got... I'm sick of this guy. I'm going to try and take get rid of his buildings now. Again, just being really annoying. <laughs> In all the best of ways. Oh, goodness. And then I did... There was a hole there. And I get the light cap. Sheesh. So what I'm trying to do is add lots of villagers. Which I think we've accomplished. Cheap villagers with the Hindustanis. So let's talk about the bug a little bit, okay? Green's going to go for a castle here. And Blue's going to start pressuring me. So, the building which Hardy will have hopefully edited into various points of this game, and also maybe now, not just the intro, um, is a building that was brought to the Hindustanis when they went from the Indians to the Hindustanis in the Dynasty of India's expansion, okay? And um, again, green being annoying, he's going to kill my siege with spearmen. Just like, how? Um, and it is supposed to make trade faster. Now... It has just now dawned on me at midnight, the night before I have to fly home to see family, So, and I still haven't packed, so I'm not doing any more research, but it's just now dawned on me, I don't know the exact speed at which it makes the trade, right? So what we're going to show you eventually here, it is likely faster than what they intended. But yeah, so the buildings, it costs, uh, I think, 175 wood and like 100 stone. Hardy again help me out if I'm wrong. I feel so bad about this. This is so screwed up. But it makes trade faster and that's all it's supposed to do. Okay? It makes you and your allies trade faster. However, it does not just make trade faster. It makes what I believe all mounted units faster. So anything on a horse, okay? Which we didn't know until we tested this. I actually had thought that maybe it had made, it would make like siege faster. And it also heals them. And when you see the speed, you're going to be like, holy freaking crap, they did not intend that. Okay? So yeah, that's what we're building up towards. Now again, good job from Blue and Green. Trying to get a little 2v1 situation in. Especially because Blue earlier said, I'm going to slap you. He's finally here slapping something. Right? Um, we are ahead economically. We didn't want to rush to Imp here too quickly. Because we didn't want them to tap out. I believe I forgot about that as I'm now hit the click the Imperial Age upgrade. And, you know, green's going to add some walls on this side. Blue probably needs to kinder, consider some way to take back the towers from Ozone. Because, again, in reality, what would happen here with this control, I would have pushed this position earlier after clearing up the forward. And then Ozone would also do the same, right? Uh, and Ozone, he didn't really have a position to recover. 
he was the one who took the position, he would be pushing with that. So he's got the markets going up. I've got the markets going up, and we're looking to trade. And the uh, trade speed in and of itself is already something to get excited about. But then it gets fairly ridiculous with the other things that we will test in the trade building. So again, it's like caravan... Caravanserai? Is that it? Carav Caravanserai. I... Caravanserai. I don't have the spelling here. We'll work on it together in a moment, all right? So I thought they were going to resign, and I was desperate for content. And I thought they were having fun, and so I just said, we have a surprise, be patient, please. Green laughed, blue just said K. And normally if someone responds like j with just K to me, it's either like my mom, because my, uh, my parents do that sometimes, and that, that bothers me, or it's someone who's not really that pleased with the situation. But I think Blue is fine with it. Blue said, is it Hidden Cup 5? I said, it might be. Surprise, it's not. But things are in the works, I'll just say that. And, um... So I, I, I'm Fortify walling over here and still looking to add trade. Now, I'm a guy who has big plans, right? Big visions. But sometimes it's just not really what I want. So I was planning to spread out all my villagers and get them ready to build these buildings. And it looked pretty good initially, and then I ran out of resources. Because <laughs> they're actually not that cheap. But can you imagine if it was like, bam, bam, bam. Caravanserai. There you go. Caravanserai. C that one. Green runs through with the light calf. Green's like, oh boy, we made it through. Let's do something. And I've got a castle up, which would protect my monks, but monks are going to hop inside this castle anyways. And I was really annoyed, as Green calls me a waller, which I totally am. I was really annoyed because I didn't want them to see it, right? Like, for, to spoil it right here would be so bad. So I, I was just like, please attack my vills. Please, 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 please. And then please don't move on because I do not want you. Oh, yeah, this was the moment. I was like, I don't want him to see this. So I'm like, send everyone. So, yeah, the monk can lay down his life. That's worth it. And it fortunately for us works out. Um... Okay, I think I'm going to turn off the market events at this point, because it's it's rather obnoxious. So, green's about to be imp, blue's about to be imp. They've got a pretty large army, right? And they're going to push me. Ozone is going to go siege. Because my thought was, it. I know that this building makes the trade faster. I then also, look at the zoom. Woo! Look at it. So quick. Um, I then also know that it makes units other than just camels faster, because that was the initial report from people when I heard about it. Um, <laughs> this is insane. Again, I don't think that's the intended speed. I'm pretty certain that that building's not supposed to make them that fast. Um, but shoot, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we wanted to test what, what would be speedy, and I thought what would be cool is if you have Mongol Siege, which is already 50% faster with Drill. Because Mongol Siege Onagers are already insane. So yeah, the way trade cards work is... It's all... How much gold you get is just based on the distance. Uh, between the markets, right? So the faster the trip, the better. And I haven't even really completed these things yet. And there's a couple areas where they're not all running through it. But that's 92 gold. That is just flooded, flooding right back to my base right now. At rapid speed. And again, I believe this is far more speedy than it should be. Uh, I believe it's just a portion of that when it, the game is working as intended. But it also makes military units faster as well. So that's why I'm wandering over here to make another one. Because I want to help him out. And I have not yet actually made them in the battlefield yet. These things are pretty expensive. Uh, I'm not really floating that many resources. And I am going to still have to defend myself, so... Oh, with Grand Trunk Road, by the way, a tech that only Hindustanis have, you actually get more gold income as well. So, I forget how that works. It should affect trade by 10%. But I wonder if it's only the trade that's on the way back. Let's see, I've been getting 92 a trip. The building looks really cool, by the way. Um, They're starting to push me on this side. And I figured, well, I need some army, and I saw Green had horses, so... I said, sure. And it's good I'm going for stable units, because I know stable units are affected by this. Let me see. 
Okay, yeah, Grand Trunk Road added 10%. It's 102 now. So you have the building, and then you also have the Grand Trunk Road, and then you also have the insanely fast trade carts. Now, Ozone, he's making like a little shrine here. We've got the four houses. We've got the four outposts. We've got the monastery. Like, this is a nice little fortress. And they have noticed it, which is pretty sad, actually, because I, I know Ozone put a lot of work into that. Now, I signaled and said zoom, and I say boo now because I realize it doesn't apply to Siege. Very disappointed. It's just normal Mongol Siege speed. So, I'm a little bummed. Devs, if you're going to break stuff, break it and make it more fun, all right? <laughs> Um, but you guys haven't seen me make anything on this side yet. And as it stands, we're 30 population behind. It's not that bad. Blue's build up a really good economy. Um, and the, we got two people going ahead in on this side against me. Now, Ozone's upset about this. Again, I feel for him. His monument's going down. I appreciate the dedication to it, by the way. The, the symmetry there was very nice. And, okay, green is now running to my base to see that I have Imperial Camels. And green immediately switches Pikemen because that would be the, the right play here. Now, green saw a lot of bad things. He saw more walls, he saw castles, and he saw Imp Camels. I don't know whatever possessed him to run through here and now drop another castle. It's a very bold decision. He doesn't really have anything, but Slav Castles are cheaper after his unique tech, so have at it, my friend. Keep in mind, we are still adding trade. Ozone is just sitting here with Siege Onagers for now, not pushing. Um, Ozone's been a good sport. He is playing with one of the most fun civilizations in the game, so he could absolutely be going for more crazy things. Yes. And Ozone just says, this is going to get wild here for Blue. I don't think Blue really has a strong idea. Like, Blue clearly knows, like, this, this guy's toying with me a little bit. So anyways, Green lost that castle I showed you a moment ago. And he's going to go help now, which is great. It's a good decision. And I'm trying to get Vils over here. It's very difficult for me to get Vils to, to stack this stuff on both sides. Because I have a habit of checking all my idols and then sending them to go do a job. And all those jobs would be at my base. So you probably will see random Vils. Like, look, yeah, I'm just sending random Vils across. Because I still, I mean... I haven't taken a lot of damage here, but I still have to put in some work to defend this. Now, I've got 23 trade cards zooming across the map right now. It's insane. Just zoom and having a good time. Okay. This is going to be the first time that you get to see my camels walk around in this trade building. Okay? This is also going to be the first time that the enemy sees it. It's also the first time that the enemy sees 50 siege onagers from Ozone. Make it 30. Just raining down damage upon his eco. I'm still trying to stack these buildings up. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look how fast they move! <laughs> it's insane! <laughs> it's freaking insane! And I don't think it's attack speed as well, but it might be. It, this, is, this is ridiculous. Imagine being green... He's like, uh, how many times did he get husbandry? Now, I tried the siege elephants because I thought speedy siege elephants would be cool. Does not apply to the siege elephants. And so he says, thank you. I'm not sure why. Uh, it might be to his teammate. It might be because he thought he was taking a good fight. But my, my, like normally mobile units, I say you can decide on when you fight and you can decide on when you do not fight. Oh, I get to make that decision now. Okay. Believe me, I get to make that decision because I am... 15 times faster than anything you have, if not more. Now, I paused for this reason. We're going to have to go slow-mo for this. It's a little weird, right? Because it's in the midst of battle. Okay. This camel is at 34 HP. We're going to slow-mo it. It's healing. The building makes it supersonic speed. And it heals. Now, what I don't know is if it heals all units. So, I'll have to see if anything else gets weaker. But it also heals. Again, an example of a bug that's just too ridiculous. I mean, I, I can't even get set up, uh, get upset about this one because it's not affecting other things. I'm not fast forwarding. This is the normal speed. I just had to double check, guys. 
And so anyways, he says, uh, what's that speed? I said, new bug. He says, cheater. And I say, naturally, thanks to E. As I continue to move around here. And it just dwarfs the speed of the Hussar, which is typically a really fast unit. Now, on this side, we should probably go back. I gotta... Uh, we can't miss the juicy shots. Ozone's having some fun. Uh, and a lot of things are dying here against the Siege Onagers. Now, I'm wondering if Blue can force Ozone into a big friendly fire. Oh, yeah! That's what we call slapping right there, Blue. Well played. I think that's pr basically GG at this point. And I think they know this game is over because Blue's been making a wonder back here this entire time. Again, they're having fun. And meanwhile, I am advancing forward with a building which heals my units, makes them incredibly fast, and is normally used for trade. It's an interesting world we live in here. Now, Ozone said, look Mangadai. An amazing, unique unit. Look how fast the Mangadai are. <laughs> so we found out near the tail end that it does actually affect Mangadai. Can you imagine? Like, I gotta pause here because, again, we're trying to talk about this and this game could end soon. Imagine if someone's in your trade, right? Enemies in your trade with Paladin and your Mangadai are here and you're just like, oh, no. But you have stacked so many trade buildings that you're just like, be there in three seconds. Zoom. And you just zoom right there to defend yourself. It's insane. So, I mean, it would have been crazier had it affected Siege. I really wish it would have affected Siege. But yeah. Nice micro here, Blue. He's trying to out micro Mangadai. Not many people can say they've done that against Ozone. And uh, the push continues on on this side. Again, the buildings aren't cheap. We had a pretty big lead. Is it optimal to build these as we're building it right now? Probably not. It's probably better to just make castles and towers with this building because it costs stone. But I just had to test it. It's pretty ridiculous. Now, Green's been sending resources to Blue to help out, I guess. And I'm still just trying to stack these buildings to make the units even speedier. And they call the GG. Now, watch this. Wonders up, right? And what happens? Well, you can't just resign, right? You build the wonder. You commit your whole existence to it. And you want to die in the way that your gods would be proud. So what do you do? Oh, man, the timing on this is off. What do you do, French kiddo? What do you... Okay, there's still fights going on over here. I should look at... What do you do? Okay, okay. well, again, could edit this. I have a flight in 10 hours. Hey, there we go. And he sacrifices himself to the gods underneath the wonder and then finally resigns. Interesting game. So, yeah, um... It's a pretty big bug. It's a funny bug, though. And please don't report me for being a bug abuser. Um, I made 24 of those buildings in this game. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 were in the trade, which felt fairly optimal. And then the other 14, I guess, were in the battlefield. So I don't know how long it's going to take for them to push this out. I normally don't try and create a ton of awareness for bugs because I don't want people to abuse things and like completely ruin ranked play. But this falls into a niche category for me. This is not something that you encounter all the time. And in the event you're going to use it offensively, you have to build an, a building that costs stone and doesn't fire arrows like a tower in the battlefield. So... Maybe this is a little wrong of me, but, you know, until they patch this, you could maybe play a 1v1 game and build one of these in the back of your base and heal up your units and imp, right? Y you could do that and, uh, you know, live your dreams. And also, it could completely change the landscape, too. Like, if you're wondering, how does this guy keep healing up his camels? You might need to look for that thing. Now, on screen... Are a couple other examples uh, that I had Hardy put together for the sake of this video. You can see how fast the normal Hussar is versus the Hussar in the range of the building. Uh, you're then going to have other examples come up on screen as I kind of close this out. Um, I find it interesting. I find it fun. And uh, <laughs> I, I, I hope that you guys enjoy this video as well. I feel like this is the type of thing that 
I can enjoy because it doesn't affect every game. And then it's also something I almost wanted to document because there's going to be a time, you know, hopefully rather soonish where this isn't in the game. And we could be like, oh, man, remember the days where this building did this, right? Because uh, that's going to happen. I plan to stick around for a long time. I hope to make videos for, I don't know, forever. Um, and, uh, you know, if there's an audience there and there's interest in the, in the scene, uh, hopefully we're looking back and talking about this stuff for years to come. So once again, guys, thank you very much for uh, watching and supporting the channel. Like I said, I think this month, I was been the most successful in terms of just views on my channel ever. So the fact that we're still scaling up when you know, a couple years ago, I was just like, that's it. I hit my peak. I made it. I accomplished all my goals. I didn't think I could ever turn this into anything where I'd get 10,000 views on a video, much less almost 4 million in a month. Um, so again, just appreciate you guys. Uh, as always, my thanks to you guys is going to be consistent content and I'll try and upload daily for as long as I can maintain that and still be interested in the game and still be hyped for it and still record a video leading up towards midnight when I absolutely should be packing. Uh, quick glance here at the final stats because this could be always be nice, especially when the trade was involved. Uh, remember, I ended the game with 27 trade cards. Ozone had 68, so he had a lot more. And I did think it's just kind of important to pick that up. He also had some of his trade not running through the trade route, like the actual desired route. So that's worth keeping in mind. But um, economically, he brought in 18k trade from gold, which isn't that obscene for a team game, honestly. You would think it was maybe more. But I feel like having 27 trade and sticking with it and always having it with the enhanced speed um, that whole time is maybe a better gauge at how strong this is. And it was around 12k, which I consider to be very good. For just 27 population, you do have to factor in the resources of these buildings, of course. But still, feels very strong. Uh, and yeah, that is pretty much it. Oh, I do want to say final thank you uh, beyond just the viewers and whatever else. I want to say big thanks to uh, best player in Iceland, Clemens. I'll be rooting for you, buddy. And also the French kiddo. Thank you guys for being good sports. Thank you guys for not feeling flexed upon. Thanks for making it fun at the tail end there with the wonder and whatever else. Uh, great players to encounter on the ladder for a test like this. Um, that's it. Thank you guys very much. See you in the next video. Goodbye.